Hey, I'm out here in the Great South Bay with my 13-foot uh, Glenel uh, flying saucer slash zip that I built over the winter. Probably about three, four hundred pound boat. Uh, with the load on it, maybe another 200 for me. Uh, I got a 56 Johnson here. I rebuilt the carb. I rebuilt the uh, Magneto. All my linkages are working good and everything kind of lines up as far as the timing and the advance goes. Uh, but I'm not really getting performance at top end. I know that uh, my propeller is in pretty sad shape. Ooh, yeah. And I know that affects performance, but I still think I should be getting a little more out of this. I had my wife on here last night with me and, you know, we got a top speed of 8 miles an hour. Uh, as you can see, I have the uh, transom spaced up. Uh, the motor is spaced up on the transom about an inch. I've, I've played with it a little bit. Uh, I've changed the angle. I just can't get the boat to plane off. Maybe it's underpowered, but from what I remember, when I was a kid, I had one of these motors. I had a 35 horse, 58. This is a 5630 on a, um, a much bigger boat, man, and the thing that planed off went pretty nice. So I'm having a little problems, um, and I'm hoping, you know, I can get some suggestions from you guys on the forum. Uh, the linkages are working good, uh, everything lines up as far as the advance goes and the cam follower and all that good stuff. So, I'm going to start her up and uh, we'll go for a ride. Show you what I mean. This is it, wide open throttle. Like I said, I got a top speed of about eight miles an hour last night. Boat isn't really planing off. You can see I'm throwing a pretty big weight. The motor seems to be running good. It's real reliable. I've been out here for about 25 hours over the course of three days. And the thing's sucking up my, you know, a lot of gas. This is it. Full throttle. I'm trying to get you a little perspective on how fast I'm going. back big time. It's not playing in off, so that's my issue. I'm just hoping it's something silly, something stupid. Thanks for the advice. 